into my decision to quit the first time, I after it happened, you know, I talked to my uncle. He had talked about it. Um, maybe you rushed into it too fast, and you know, I, I thought I did. You know, I prayed a lot, and I talked to him, my mother a lot, and they felt confident that I could do it, and I feel confident in myself again. And I have support of my teammates and my coaches. Describe your spirit. <laughs> I mean, uh, since I've, I've always been a hard worker, I don't take, I don't make excuses. I don't take anything for granted. I know, like you said, it was a uh, tough injury, and I just, uh, I'm just blessed to be back. I'm just happy that I'm able to walk again. Uh, the doctor said. I'd never be able to do it, and I'm just glad I'm able to do it. You talked to Defoe about special teams too? Uh, he, he avoided me. He avoided me. <laughs> but uh, if, if you want me to get on, you know, I'm on it. I'm all about team 100%. Just describe how tough that year was for you sitting down. I'm sure it had to be hard. You know, it was, it was very tough, but, you know, I'm, I'm a team player, so, you know, I was always there for uh, Joseph Randall, you know, Kendall Hunter, and uh, Jeremy Smith. Uh, like, if Coach, like coach uh, Gillespie, our past coach, didn't see anything, you know, I'd pull him to the side and, you know, do this, do that, and they, they respect me enough because, you know, I've been there. So, but like I said, I'm just glad to be back, and I'm glad I had their support and everybody else. How is it uh, working with those guys now back on the field? Because, like I said, you were kind of a coach last year. Now you're out there with Jeremy, with Joseph Randall. And, and, and by the way, as a group, it sure uh, looks and hears like the running backs are doing pretty well. Yeah, well, we're, we're a family in the, uh, the running back group. You know, uh, we hang out not just in football, but outside of football. We like brothers, and uh, we just always run each other 24-7, you know, joking around. And um, we just have a good chemi good bond and good chemistry. Thanks, Scott. Scott, I was going to ask you. you about the congratulations, man. Thank you. Congratulations, you. back. Oh, the grind of the rehab. Is that worse than anything you hear other like the worst is something most people face? I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, uh, when I got hurt, that was probably the worst days of my life. And you know, rehab was tough. Uh, John Stan was rehabbing me. He made me bend it whenever I didn't want to bend, and I'd always go in there upset, mad, and not want to do anything. But I'm glad he he, he kept me going forth because I'm happy to be where I'm at right now. Where you stand right now as far as your speed is one of those things going to progress until this, you know, September? Uh, you know, I believe so. If I just uh, keep working hard, I can. Uh, I know I'm not going to be the same back I was before I got hurt, but I'm still, I, I hope to be um, the back I was, and I'm going to just keep uh, moving forward.